Thank you. Thanks for sticking with us. I'm glad you did, and you'll be glad you did, too. With me once again, we've had you before, is Nikki Nason from the Marquette Arts and Culture Department. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. You've got a big show coming up. It's called Alice in Wonderland. I've heard of that. Yes, it's the classic tale, but probably not the way you've seen it done before. No, for one thing, I see a lot of kids that we have here doing this. Yep, we have about 73 youth from the Marquette area, 73. ages Great. about four years old to up to 17. And it's a plethora of youth from the Marquette general area. It's produced by the City of Marquette Arts and Culture Center Youth Theater Program. We've been known for many shows. Um, our most recent last winter was Beauty and the Beast, yep. which was a very popular, almost sold-out production. So I hope people come and see Alice in Wonderland because it definitely can't be compared to Beauty and the Beast because it's so different. But the quality is right there, too. When is it? The production is Friday, January 28th at 7 p.m. at Kaufman Auditorium. One and show only? Nope. Oh, three shows. Three of course shows. not. We, okay. we, we need right. more seats than that. And then Saturday, January 29th at 1 p.m. matinee and 7 p.m. in the evening. Great. Plenty of chances to see it. Can I, I was honest before. I'm going to be honest again. I've never seen Alice in Wonderland. Do you believe that? I never have myself either. So We're together on that. Well, we're going to get a sample of it tonight. Uh, tell us who we're going to see here. Um, we have Mallory Grugan, who's playing Alice, Nick Thompson, who's playing the French Mouse, Carissa Langsford, who's playing the Dodo, Cameron Calderwood as the Lori, and Jackie Camarada as the Duck. Okay, well, I've seen a little bit of this. I think people are going to enjoy it. Let's get right to it. A little sample of Alice in Wonderland. Curiouser and curiouser and curiouser am I. First I grow too little, then then I grow too high. Wonder what I'm doing here. I think I'm going to cry. Oh, curiouser and curiouser am I. Oh, mouse. Do you know the way out of this pool? Perhaps he doesn't understand English. I dare say it's a French mouse. Now, what do I know in French? Oh, yes. Où est ma chat? Which means, where is my cat? Cat? <laughs> I'm sorry, mouse dear. I quite forgot. Mouses don't like cats. Would you like the cats if you were the mouse? I guess not. Are you fond of dogs? There's such a nice little dog near our house, and he always plays with Dinah. Dinah? Who is Dinah? Dinah is the name of my cat. Just said it again! I'm sorry, Mouse Deer. We won't talk about cats anymore. We oui, indeed. As if I would ever talk on such a subject. My family has always hated the cats. You know, they... they so... so nasty. And, and low and vulgar sings. A cat, as you know, is catty. And on mouses, he gets quite fatty. So forgive me, my dear, but the subject I fear is a subject that drives me batty. Oh, well, you like bats? Not particularly. Look, here come some other creatures. Show us which way the shore might be. 
success starts with just five dollars becoming a new member at superior iron range credit union is simple fast and easy getting cash is a snap with over 20,000 surge charge free atms through our partner network online banking is available 24 7 providing the convenience to manage your accounts on your time we even offer principal investment services the superior iron range community federal credit union your success in life is our success Okay. We just had some great, very talented kids on, and so I feel a little sorry for Nina Weyer Itner. You've got a tough act to follow, but Nina, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. You are with the UP Children's Museum. You are, you are the UP Children's Museum. You are known for that, and I'm sure you, you would deny that you are the, you have so many great people over there. I do. I have great staff. A lot of great things. Yes. Uh, I'm, thanks for coming. Uh, I want to talk to you today about um, a couple things that you've got going on. The first thing is the skate plaza, yes. and this has been in the news for a few years now. There's a bunch of skateboarders in this town that have felt kind of displaced. They want a place to do their skateboarding, and uh, th this is something the UP Children's Museum jumped on board. Well, actually not the Children's okay, Museum. Okay, that's what I want to know. What's the me, connection? It's Nina. just you. Okay. Uh, I, actually, one of my friends came to me and said, kids were getting ticketed for skateboarding. Now, you may not, kids are my thing. Yeah. So. I thought, well, let's, let's gather some people. So a group of us got together and we started to think about solutions to these poor kids who were being displaced. And so it's been three years now that yeah. we've been working on this. And we had to design and build session with kids. Okay. And what they designed was a skate plaza. And we have that up on our monitor. Here. What it is, it's, it's like um, they take urban elements, the things they love to skate on, like staircases right. and railings downtown, the yeah. things they're getting ticketed to right. skate on. Right. And then what we're doing is we're putting it into one big plaza. Yeah. So it's going to be super cool. And Spawn Ranch is the group that we're looking to to actually put it together, put our plans together. And, and so we have a place. Yeah. Where's, um, what's the place? It's actually the corner of, um, right, of Fair, Fair and, and Pine. Pine right where the and y. it's right where the Y sign is. Okay. And we have not that behind the y, though. Not behind the Y. In front. Okay, good. I mean, Very that's visible. actually something we found is that if you put a skate park or plaza kind of buried behind things, yeah. it gets vandalized. Sure. But this is, and kids want to be seen. I yeah. mean, they don't want to be tucked behind sure. a building. Sure. That's a great spot. So this is perfect. And it's high visibility. And it's, and, you know, and it's, the kids, the kids are not noisy. I mean, they're totally into this. And this is not, this is concrete too. Sure. So yeah. it's not, a, it's not, they're not, there's not a lot of slamming or, or right. loud noises. So our, the, the community around them it's shouldn't right worry at all. It. Right, it should it's, be a good spot. And it's going to be, it's going to be a really wonderful asset. Yeah. Now, now there's an issue that's money. Money's the issue at this oh, point. Oh, money is the always The city has issue. made a commitment. City has made a commitment. We have to, we have to raise 150000 and they will give us 75000 and we do have some of that money raised, Good. but we have formed a wonderful relationship with the Community Foundation. And so all donations can go right to the Community Foundation. So, I mean, there's no other tr more trusted place to put your money. And we're starting to accept donations. We're, like, really gearing up because yeah. we really want to build this thing next summer. I think that'd be great. You know, one thing people talk about, 
there's not a lot for kids to do in this town, right or wrong, that's said a lot. Well, here's something that would be a great thing for kids to do. So put your money where your mouth is. Let's make this thing happen. And we'll have lots of naming opportunities. Okay. We'll have different bricks that you can, you can put your sure. name on. There are different obstacles that yeah. you can sponsor. So all of this literature is going to get out there yeah. within the next month. Good. We'll look yeah. for it. Yes. I want to get to the next thing. Now, this is a UP Children's yeah. Museum. This is the Culinary Journey. Tell me about that. What's going on? January 30th is our 10th anniversary culinary journey. We'll have 14 of our chefs, the finest chefs of our region, and they all kind of pepper throughout the museum at different stations, and people go along and they, and they taste all these incredible things. There's just incredible wines. Um, and then we'll have Six String as our entertainment, yeah, which I one. believe may even be some of our folks that we have here okay, tonight. Good. And it's an amazing event. And it's from 6 o'clock until 8 on Sunday, January the 30th. Tickets are $60 or two for $100. Okay, through the UP Children's Museum. And you Museum. can buy them at the Children's Museum. Just come into our new store called Sprout. Okay. And uh, you can purchase the tickets there. But this is a, like a, you don't want to miss this. It event. sounds good. Okay. It is amazing. Nina, I'm glad you came. You've Thank updated you. us on the Skate Plaza, a great uh, thing that you've got going on yourself. The UP Children's Museum with the culinary journey. And we're going to have you back many times, I think, Yay. because you've got so much stuff going on. Thank you. Nina Weyer-Ittner from the UP Children's Museum, thanks for joining us. Thank you. All right. You'll find what you're looking for at the window store. Servicing Market, Baltic, Quidditch, Republic, Calumet, Tronic, Merritt, Epigani, Skaney, Trinary, Newberry, Rumley, Sault Ste. Marie, Menominee, Quinn. The Triple for Double is back at the window store. Receive a triple pane window for the price of a double. You'll find what you're looking for at the window store.